lot of trees here that would snap in half. There, I mean, Hurricane Irene came through in 2011. It could have been snapped then. Um, it could have been snapped in any number of, uh, of blowdowns. I know and someone here from Westfield, um, you know the, the blowdowns there, the tornadoes, all yep. sorts of, of, of harsh wind activity. Same year. Um, you find a lot of trees that are snapped in half and then have started growing back in old growth forests. And that's where you get where you get a lot of stag headed trees. Um, because they don't tend to fall from the roots quite as much. But where they do fall from the roots, they leave uh, depressions in the soil. Yep. And then when the roots, which have carried some of that soil up with them and some of the rocks, when the wood rots away, it deposits it into a pile. And uh, that is a very distinctive habit. Uh, of the, Pillow. the forest floor. Pillow. And call pits and mounds. Oh, yeah. Or, um, how, how I learned it from Wessels, pillows and cradles. Pillows, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now look at the soil Wait, right here, and you will business? see pillows and cradles Wait. all over oh. the place oh, yeah, where we yeah, yeah, haven't yeah. seen them coming Wessels. up. Oh, Even Wessels when, when places are plowed mm -hmm. or when pillows places are allowed to erode, everything levels out. But when you have trees that are falling out, or, or old enough that they're falling over from the roots up, that's when they leave that big cradle or, or pit in the soil. Um, followed by the, the pillow or mound that they leave. And it's a little harder on a, on a steep slope. A great place to see um, old growth forest uh, on a level ground is the Bryant Homestead in Cummington. Yep. Um, and they've got pillows and cradles to die for uh, because, uh, because it's 